book writing expert and writer. I help you overcome the fear of writing and publishing your book. And if you wish to get tips for your writing, join my five day writing challenge. You will find the link in the show notes and please share it with your friend who you know is thinking of starting to write for a very long time. In today's episode, I'd like to share more about the fears I have in my life and with writing. Even though this podcast is named Living Without Fear, this doesn't mean that I don't have fears, but I have learned to work with them. While my book Living Without Fear is in the making, at the moment, it is being translated from German into English. There are a lot of thoughts crossing my mind during the day. What if this book won't be liked by the readers? What if it is a total failure and nobody will want to buy it? What if people criticize what I've been sharing in my book? What if they will talk about me behind my back and make fun of me? What if someone will laugh at my book and tell me that they could have done better? What if my parents will be very angry with me because I shared some family details in it? All these thoughts are coming and I acknowledge them for being here but I let them how they are. I don't try to change them because they are part of me. They are part of this me that is fearful and that tries to protect me from pain and criticism. And I know this as I have experienced it so many times. When I launched my first online course and when I did my first masterclass, I had similar thoughts. But because I didn't let them stop me from doing my first masterclass and creating my book writing course, I could experience a lot of joy and success when I sat in my first Zoom call with my audience and I taught them very important steps to overcome the fear of writing and to believe in themselves and their writing. They thanked me for my teaching. They felt understood as they have the same fear. And I felt so grateful to be at service for my new students. So from this experience, I know that if I push through my fear, if I do the thing anyway, I can feel how important my message is and how important it is that I don't hold myself back because there are people out there, they need to hear my message. And this will exactly be the same thing with my upcoming book. I'm afraid of publishing it, but as soon as the translator has finished her work and as soon as the graphic designer has created a beautiful layout for my book, I will do it. Nothing will hold me back. Why? I always wanted to write and publish this book. I always knew that I want to inspire others, but I wasn't self-confident enough for a long time. But today I know that my message is important and I got this feedback already two days ago. <laughs> my English translator sent me an email with the headline, update, you are helping in London. First, I didn't understand this, but then I gathered what she wanted to tell me. She had sent some of my words of wisdom, as she calls them, to friends in a writing group and got the awesome feedback. 
thanks for sharing this, or I really needed this. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> you won't believe me, but I can hardly believe it. This is me who wrote this book. It's my book. I'm already helping people in London. In those moments, I cannot wait to see my book finished. Me holding it in my hands and sending it to the friends who I know would need my words. It will be an epic moment in my life and it will feel amazingly great. But I know that my fearful thoughts will pop up again, as I do right now as well. What if my book will be read just by a few people and then it's over? What if nobody will ask for it anymore? But this fear became easy for me to deal with. I don't know what will happen in the future. I cannot foresee my future. There can be happening great things I've never dreamt of, and I can attract them by staying positive and open-minded. I believe the universe has my back. And this is a rather recent thought I have. It's only about a year old or two. Before, I didn't believe in a higher power. I always thought I needed to fix the things myself, especially through hard work. And I really worked hard to achieve my goals. Today, I work a lot, but I don't work hard. The work feels light and joyful. And that's a big difference. So coming back to my book, I'm sure it will be the door opener for me for bigger things. It was exactly the same thing with my first children's book publication. If I hadn't overcome the fear of writing and printing Leonard and Lulu, I wouldn't be as strong as I am today and I wouldn't have written Living Without Fear, where I share so many personal things. So every step I take prepares me for the next bigger steps. I know I've heard people saying this years ago, but I didn't really believe it because I was also rather stuck in perfectionism. My first book needed to be perfect. I told myself, otherwise I cannot publish it. Perfectionism is another form of procrastination, someone said. And this is exactly what I believe as well today. I was stuck in fear and perfectionism for so many years. I was dreaming of writing books, but I didn't start. I didn't believe I can do it because of all these fears I mentioned at the beginning. It's a vicious circle. There is fear. Fear holds you back from the starting. And because you don't start, you feel bad and you blame yourself and you feel even worse. And feeling worse doesn't help at all to get into action. The first step you can take, and that's what I do with myself as well, is to acknowledge what's going on in my head and analyze my thoughts and feelings and take them seriously. Don't try to push the negative away. It's okay to be there. I'm like my own mother who is telling myself, it's okay. It's okay to be afraid, but do I want to take a step further in my development? Yes, I do. I want. I want to find a way to overcome all the fears because I don't want to get stuck and blame myself for not being more courageous. So this is why I do the things, although there's fear. 
Do you see the difference? I'd like you to think about a tiny step you can take today that brings you closer to your goals. So for example, if you like to write your own book, if you like to work on your mindset and learn the steps to overcome your fear, sign up for the five-day writing challenge. Go to www.esserbueki.com slash writing minus challenge. You will also find the link in the show notes of this podcast. And please, please share this podcast with someone who needs to overcome these fears as well. Thank you so much for your help to spread this podcast. Have an amazing day.